Yeah, if you ever need to hang your cowboy hat, this is uh, a way to do it, and it even goes with the uh, the rope. It is simply two elliptical uh, pieces of pine uh, put together with a, a simple through joint with small dog bones at the edges. I will go through how I made it uh, and also the drawing part in uh, Fusion 360. And here we are in Fusion 360. You can see how it's put together with the joints here and also here. And I will now really quickly try to go through via the history line how I did make this one. On a fresh canvas, uh, I start to uh, sketch the two elliptical pieces that will make the uh, hat holding piece and then the base piece. And the next step was then to extrude first the hat holding thing uh, and then secondly uh, the base. Then I would be uh, moving the hat holding things away. Then I started to sketch the uh, joint, uh, the pin that would join the two pieces. I did it at an angle of 60 degrees and uh, then I would extrude that piece and then uh, I would also add some pieces that would uh, represent the, uh, the tenon uh, in the joint and also extrude those. So now I basically have uh, all the three bodies and you can see them here that I need. Then I moved around with it a few times, uh, tilted it so on and uh, basically now I have it all positioned in the right place. Now comes the point where I would like to cut through this one and this one uh, in order to make the hole for the tenon. And you do that by making a combined, uh, you can find combined up here um, in the modify. And uh, here the, the trick is to say that I would like to combine this one with this one as a tool and then keep tool. So that's the, uh, that is the, uh, the commands that you will be using. So there is a target body that would be this one. The tool body is this one. And then you would use cut and keep tool. That would be the options you would select. And that's what I've done. So you keep this part. If you don't say keep tool, this will go away. Uh, and then you get a hole created uh, in the bottom. And then next in the top, you can't really see that. Then I start uh, to make a uh, piece of stock, doing some joints, uh, where I take uh, each of the three parts and basically put them down on the stock. And I turn it around. Then you can see now I have taken the three parts and then made joints. These are, these are the joints. Uh, and then positioned them on my stock uh, material, ready to do the cam part. I have used a plugin that I found on the internet uh, on GitHub uh, that can be used for dog boning. And if we zoom in a little here, you can actually see the dog bones here and you can see the dog bones there. Uh, and of course those are made in order to make this uh, tenon go all the way down to meet this surface here. So next is to go to uh, the cam part of the, pro uh, of the program. And um, there we can set up the, 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 the milling operations. And the first thing you always need to do is to make a setup. Uh, and a setup is basically telling about the, uh, the workpiece, the size uh, of the stock, uh, and also where is my Z uh, or where, where is my zero. Uh, and I have positioned it here at the lower uh, left corner of my stock. That means that when I zero the machine, I'll have to go to the work surface rather than the material surface. So I will zero it on this part here uh, and then um, uh, at the corner and then the milling will be going right. So you have to position this one in order to set up your work and you have to specify the stock and here are the dimensions of the stock I have used. Then you uh, need to uh, define uh, the milling operations and I have made a pocket and it's uh, these two here uh, and uh, then I have made 
the cutout, the contour of the three items, and that's essentially all what I need. If you see something like this, you need to generate the tool path again in order to make it operational. And then we can uh, try to uh, highlight both of them. And then we can see if we can simulate everything here. We'll put the stock on like that, put this away, and then we will play. And we will generate the hole. And we do the cutout. Yeah, and then that's basically uh, it for, for generating the tool path. Save the tool paths, uh, and you do that by again highlighting them and then uh, click the post process, and then you get it ready for the machine. So let's go see how it works on the machine. So with the material in the machine, I will start with offsetting of the work surface. Alright, and then we should be ready to do the milling.